Hey everyone, it's Lisa and you're watching Out of the Box. As you can see, I have gotten quite a few packages today, a total of four. There is one from Bai, one from Ninning Game, and two, especially the large one, from AmiAmi. Ami. And yeah, I, I, I'm really excited. I, I kind of know what's in some of them. I don't fully know what's in all of them. There are no skills, as far as I know. But yeah, it's still going to be a big haul. So I might make this a two-parter to make it easier on myself to edit everything and stuff. And to make it nicer for you guys to watch because... Who wants to watch a video of an hour? <laughs> and yeah, let's just get into the package information for the first one. And let's see what I've got. So let's get started with the first package, which is a package from Bai. I most often use Bai for Yahoo Auctions Japan. However, this time I ordered three art books from a combination of Mercury and Yahoo Japan Shopping. Let's get into the information. I got two books from Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo Japan Shopping. For one for 3,300 yen and one for 3,199 yen. And then I got one of the books pre-owned on Mercury for 1,200 yen. The shipping fee, the shipping was through registered airmail, small packet. Uh, there was no domestic shipping fee, so that was nice. The international shipping fee was 2,810 yen and package consolidation fee was 1,000 yen. So let's see what journey this package made. On the 29th of August, so that's not too long ago, the package was shipped to me. It arrived at the office of exchange. The next day it was dispatched. Then on the 7th of September, it arrived at the inward office of exchange and it went into customs because sadly we always have to pay customs here in the Netherlands. And then on the 9th, it was returned from import customs. And today on the 10th of September, it was delivered. So shall we unbox it? My tripod is kind of acting up, as in the tripod is leaning a little bit. So if somewhere in the video I start leaning, I'm really sorry. I got my trusty knife. And the packaging that Bai used, or yeah, it's what that Bai used because I used their consolidation. Otherwise, they just ship it in the package that they got it in. But is this kind of plastic but also papery kind of stuff and there are these three packages in there so let's see what the first one is ah yeah the first one that we have here is Iro Bunny and what that means is like colorful bunny or I, I I guess so because I also have the Kudo bunny these are all Grafiction books by the way but this is the Iro bunny which means the colorful bunny and it's just an art book full of girls in cute colorful bunny suits and yeah, I think that is really cute. So that's awesome. Let's continue to the next one. I, I will show more of every book after I unbox everything. But um, yeah. Then the next one is also one from Yahoo Japan Shopping because it's also new. And that is also from Grafiction, the Painted Black art book, which has women 
wearing black tights, I guess. Or black clothing. We have some bunnies. Oh. Yeah, I think this one's also really good. You could say that I'm a little bit of a degenerate that I buy these books, but I just think that the artwork is really well done. And who doesn't love art books of sexy, sexy women, you know? So for the final one, oh, it's wrapped in plastic. I don't know if that means that it's new or like unused. But I guess I still got it for a steal because on here it says that it is 2,909 yen plus tax. And I got it for 1,200. So this is the on off. I don't know if it's like Emoto book, like Little Sisters. But it shows the same girls in their on and off types so like in their lounging wear in their school going wear in their bikinis in their pajamas just casually lounging and i must say i think this is my favorite of the book so far because it's just really pretty so i think this one is adorable i will m of course show much more but that is the first package and that's everything that I got from Bai. So I'm really happy with these books. I'm glad that they arrived in great condition. And yeah, let's continue on to the next package, shall we? For the next package, this one is from Ninning Game. And thinking back on how long ago something shipped and that I guess... I think I've got the information for the right order here. Because I think that what's in this box is my two are my two Ace Attorney Nandroids of Phoenix Wright and Mouse Edgeworth, or Mitsuruki Reiji and Naruhodo Ryuichi, as they are called in Japanese. I paid a total of 72 euros and 70 cents for this. With shipping being 18 euros and 46 cents using Air Small Packet, I believe. Yeah, registered. And that means it's a total of 91 euros and 16 cents. And you may ask why I'm using euros instead of yen, but on Ninning Game, it just gives you the currency that you normally use. So it already does the conversion for you. Which can be really nice, like right now, because if you pay right now, you get the weak yen. And yeah, we, we don't know how for how much longer the, the yen will be weak. So that's, um, that's that. For the shipping, this package was shipped on the 22nd of... August and it arrived at the Outward Office of Exchange on the 23rd. It dispatched from the Outward Office of Exchange on the 26th, which doesn't happen often even with my like really slow parcels. So I don't know why it was in the Outward Office of Exchange for 3 whole days, but I guess it's okay because it's here now. Then on the 7th of September it arrived in the Netherlands and it also got into customs on that day. On the 9th it returned from customs and today on the 10th of September it was delivered. So that's the package information for this one. Let's get into the unboxing. Let's get into this package. For this one I actually need my cute knife. <laughs> Let's see if I was right or if I totally gotta refill my package info because I'm totally wrong about that. 
It seems I'm right. It seems I'm right. So here we have Nendoroid, Phoenix Wright, and Miles Edgeworth. Let's open them up. First of all, here we have Phoenix Wright in his box. He is number 1761. We are approaching Nendoroid 2000, which I think is the Aaron Jaeger fourth season Nendoroid. But this is what he comes with. He has a few face plates. He has the little counter, which I can see is actually 3D, so it's not just like a little um, cardboard thingy that they put in. They actually made it with plastic. And he comes with a few of his screams, but in Japanese, of course. What I find interesting is that they put Phoenix Wright on his box, even though that's not his Japanese name, and this is a Japanese company. But I, I guess he's better known around the world as Phoenix Wright. Here we have Miles Edgeworth, who is 1762. He also comes with a bunch of face plates and with a desk and also with a few screams. I will most certainly show you guys more footage of these two wonderful boys. But for now, I'm going to unbox the other packages. I do think this is where I'm going to make it two parts. So you guys will see me in a bit with the B-roll and the closer looks to the art books and the Nendoroids. But right now I'm going to continue doing this. And these ones, these two Ami Ami packages will then be done in a later video. So I hope, uh, I hope you guys like it that way. <laughs> But I think it will be easier for me. So, see ya. Look at that. New figures in the background. Anyway. Here we have Ido Bunny. The first art book. Let's just show a few things. This is by Suto. As you can see... There seems to be a code for what kind of color it is, and they have the bunny ears in their own little extra space. Yeah, all this artwork is gorgeous, but I, 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 I like the Grafiction art books. A lot. This is painted black. I can see that this is would be perfect for somebody who likes tights. But there are also a lot of other kind of artworks here. It is pretty sexy, so I hope that YouTube won't ban me for this. <laughs> but that is the Paint It Black art book. And then we have the Emoto Switch On Off art book. And this, yeah, I, I think this one's my favorite. It's just so cute. It's the cutest out of all of them, I must say. So those are the art books. Next up, the stars of this video. Phoenix Wright and Miles Edgeworth. They look adorable. Let's let's just open 
Phoenix first. And here he is in his blister. As you can see, there are three face plates. He comes with the bead, he comes with some paper. Other than that, he doesn't come with a lot. But yeah, let's put him in a pose, shall we? And here we see what he looks like straight out of the box. As you can see, he kind of has a pretty ugly hair seam. But I guess that with his hairstyle, it's not really possible to hide the hair seam all that well. Other than that, his paint job looks clean. He's leaning a little bit in the, in, in the, the way I post him, but I guess that's okay. Look at his outfit and even his little attorney badge. It looks really good. And overall, I'm pretty happy with this Nandroid. And here we have the way that I will be displaying him. As you can see, I got him with his counter, I got him with a paper, and with his objection sign. I was wrong before, because I said that they only had the Japanese text. However, they also have take that, hold it, objection in English. And what I really like about them is that they are plastic and not just paper, so they will probably be sturdy for quite a while. So yeah, I really like this one. Next up, let's open Miles Edgeworth. And there, so... And here we have Miles. As you can see, he also comes with three face plates. However, these two look very similar, so I'm not sure that that was very needed. He comes with a few hands, a counter, or like, what do you call those things? I just will call them a counter. And with the paper, and here he comes with the screams. So let's get him out of the box and watch what he looks like and here we have miles right out of the box he looks very similar to phoenix in the way that he's made he has the same ugly hair seam but yeah with with these kinds of hairstyles you can't really get angry at them for having this kind of hair seam they were both really easy to plug into the base which was nice and the cravat I think or at least the ruffles at his neck are just really cute so this one also looks good let's see what pose I will be putting him in and this is the pose that I will be putting Edgeworth in as you can see he smugly looks while he probably has another autopsy report that just got an update that Phoenix didn't know about and he's just like, HOLD IT! I got you. <laughs> and anyway, I think that this, these Nandoroids, they don't have that many poses in which you can put them with the limited amount of hands and stuff, but they are cute and they look good, they, they, they are well shaded and well well painted and I guess that I can look past them not having that much going on because they just look good and what they have going on just looks really good. So let's go to the final thoughts and then on to part two. And with that we have come to the end of part one of this video of this whole I decided that it would be better to do it in two parts because there's still quite a lot left and yeah otherwise it's just going to be way too much of a hassle to edit one large video and have people watch the whole thing which is a lot. <laughs> 
as you can see, my little boys are holding a little battle over there. Anyway, this was the first video that I filmed on my new phone. So if you have any complaints about that, but also if you like it, please let me know. And yeah, thank you for watching this part one. I hope to see you back at part two. And yeah, this was Lisa. See ya!